819 remaining and another touchdown brought to you by God's Gifts Catholic Store located at the corner of Harbor and Columbus in Grand Haven. Quick update, Muskegon Big Reds leading Caledonian. This is a much closer game than anyone thought as well. 27-21 with seven minutes left to go in that contest. If the Big Reds win, they would be the second game on Friday at Ford Field. If the Crusaders can hold on to this one-point lead, we would be right before them at 10 a.m. So we will wait and see what happens. Here comes a kickoff from Griffin Seymour. Brand kick that's going to get fielded. Oh, I think MCC was offsides there, it looked like. That or I don't know if the referee whistled that they were ready for this play to begin. Nope, they were. You are correct, Tom. Offsides. I didn't see a flag down in the field. Seems like they would have thrown a flag on that play. Well, you know, these guys are, uh, Zach Campbell went out of this game there, you know, right at the end of the first half, and he's the kicker. And when uh, Griffin Seymour approaches the ball, it's a little different timing than when Zach Campbell approaches the ball, and that's what happened there. We had a couple guys that went over the uh, 40 before the ball was kicked. So now the ball on the 35-yard line, Griffin Seymour ready to kick this one off. And he kicks a low bouncer that's going to get taken by the up back, and they're going to get across midfield with this. So great field position for Harbor Beach. As grabbing that ball was Derek Puff, their running back, and they're going to have the ball on the MCC 49-yard line. Yeah, not sure, not sure really what happened there, but uh, a good break for uh, Harbor Beach jumping on that uh, squib-type kick, starting off on the other side of the 50. So the Crusader defense has been stellar here in the second half so far, looking to get a big stop again. And back to the spread formation, one receiver to the left, two to the right, two backs in the backfield with Eli Kraft. Kraft hands this one off to Puff. Puff got nowhere to go, maybe got half a yard. Nothing much more than that on first down and to bring up second down and nine. We're seeing the MCC defense being fresher, having more life in their legs, you can see it right now than the Harbor Beach offense, and that's just a result of so many two-way players. And uh, hopefully we can just hold on, keep them from another, another big play. Second down, they're gonna call it 10. No gain on first down, second down and 10. Spread formation, Kraft rolling to his right, has a man open up to the, thir or to the 41 yard line, so give him a gain of eight yards as he found Aaron Ginther on that one. It'll bring up third down and two yards to go for Harbor Beach. Now they're gonna move that back to the 42, third down and three. As Eli Kraft is quite a competitor. Low snap, handoff is to Puff. He's got a hole up the middle. He's gonna have a first down as he's down to the 36 yard line of MCC. Give him a gain of six yards. First down and 10 coming up for the Pirates. Nice play call there. We, MCC, a couple guys almost had him in the backfield, but he was able to squirt free for the first down. Right back at it. Here come the Pirates again. Kraft from the shotgun has a little pressure, airs this one out, looking for Ginther, who passes way too long and lands incomplete. And Ginther, who is, uh, who's been slowed down a little the second half, he's been playing both ways. This time he is down in the end zone. It looks kind of like a, a cramp in his calf. And hopefully that's all it is. And uh, MCC quickly out there, their trainer as well as the Harbor Beach trainers out to try and help him out. And that's exactly what it is. They're stretching him out. He's got a little bit of a cramp. So we'll give them 30 seconds to try and get that situated. 721 left to go here in the fourth quarter. MCC up a slim point, 27 to 26 on country 93.1.